Sometimes the universe offers a chance that comes only once in a lifetime. In the 1970s, a rare planetary alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune created such an opportunity. This alignment allowed a single spacecraft to visit all four gas giants, a feat only possible every 176 years. The key was gravity assist using a planet's gravity to slingshot a probe onward saving decades of travel time. With this technique, NASA could send a spacecraft on a grand tour of the outer solar system. The plan was bold build two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 to explore these distant worlds. Voyager 2 launched first, set to visit all four giants Voyager 1 would follow a faster path to Jupiter and Saturn. The technology was untested, the distances immense, and the risks high. But the potential to rewrite our understanding of the solar system was irresistible. This was more than a mission it was a leap into the unknown, driven by human curiosity. The Voyager program embodied our urge to explore to see what lies beyond the next horizon. It was a testament to our ingenuity and courage. The Grand Tour wasn't about conquering space but about understanding our place within it. Voyager would become our eyes and ears in the farthest reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. It was a statement humanity is a species of explorers. We dared to dream big and built the machines to chase those dreams. The stage was set for one of history's greatest journeys. On August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 launched atop a Titan rocket, beginning its epic journey. Small but mighty, it carried the hopes of an entire planet. Voyager 2 was a robotic explorer, packed with cameras and scientific instruments to study alien worlds. It could measure magnetic fields, analyze atmospheres and detect plasma from the sun. Solar panels wouldn't work so far from the sun, so engineers equipped it with nuclear-powered generators, RTGs, that kept it running for decades. Its computer was primitive by today's standards, but robust and able to diagnose its own problems. This onboard intelligence was crucial, as signals from Earth could take hours to arrive. Every part of Voyager 2 was designed for survival in deep space. Its power source and clever engineering made its long mission possible. The spacecraft was a laboratory, a marvel of design, and a symbol of human ingenuity. Even with limited technology, the right ideas made the impossible possible. Voyager 2 was ready for the unknown. Its journey had only just begun. In 1979, Voyager 2 reached Jupiter, revealing a world of swirling storms and vibrant colors. It discovered new moons, a faint ring system, and volcanic eruptions on Io, the most geologically active body in the solar system. Europa's icy surface hinted at a hidden ocean raising hopes for life beyond Earth. Using Jupiter's gravity, Voyager 2 sped toward Saturn, arriving in 1981. Saturn's rings were unveiled as thousands of ringlets, shaped by tiny moons. The probe found a hexagonal storm at Saturn's north pole and studied its mysterious atmosphere. Enceladus showed signs of recent activity, and Titan's thick atmosphere resembled a frozen early Earth. Each flyby transformed distant points of light into dynamic, complex worlds. After Saturn, Voyager 2 journeyed to Uranus, a world never before visited. Uranus tilted on its side rolled through space with extreme seasons. Voyager 2 found faint storms discovered 11 new moons and revealed dark, narrow rings. Its magnetic field was chaotic, defying expectations. Using Uranus's gravity, Voyager 2 set course for Neptune. In 1989 it found Neptune to be a vibrant, stormy world, with the fastest winds in the solar system. Voyager 2 discovered the great dark spot and six new moons. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, had geysers and orbited backwards evidence of a captured object. With Neptune, Voyager 2 completed its grand tour turning distant dots into real, fascinating places. The outer planets were no longer mysteries, they were worlds with stories. Voyager 2 had changed our view of the solar system forever. After Neptune, Voyager 2's mission shifted to the interstellar frontier. Its goal to explore the edge of the sun's influence and sample the interstellar medium. For decades it measured the solar wind as it faded with distance. Scientists waited for the moment Voyager 2 would cross the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's bubble ends. In November 2018, after 41 years and over 11 billion miles, Voyager 2 entered interstellar space. Its instruments detected a dramatic drop in solar particles and a surge in cosmic rays. Voyager 2 joined its twin, Voyager 1, as humanity's only interstellar ambassadors. Data from both revealed the true shape and nature of our solar system's border. Now, Voyager 2 measures the space between stars, sending back data from a realm we once only imagined. It is our messenger at the edge of the cosmic ocean. 
More than four decades later Voyager 2 continues its lonely journey over 12 billion miles from home. Its faint signals take over 18 hours to reach Earth detected by NASA's deep space network. Power is fading and systems are shutting down, but the mission endures. When Voyager 2 finally falls silent, its scientific work will end, but its legacy will not. Attached to its side is the golden record, a message in a bottle for the cosmos, filled with sounds and images from Earth. It's a snapshot of humanity, sent in hope that someone, someday, might find it. Voyager 2 is more than a machine. It's a symbol of our curiosity and our drive to explore. Its journey has transformed our understanding of the solar system. It drifts on, a silent ambassador to the stars. Voyager 2 inspires all who dare to look up and wonder.